What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 WWE couples who cheated on their partner by WrestleMania. It happens. It, it, it happens all the time, actually. You'll be surprised how, you know, someone being on the road all the time you know and being in different cities and men and women throwing themselves at you because of they know who you are you know it's it's more common with people that live that on the road lifestyle or an entertainer or someone big and famous that's just that's just part of the territory you know it takes a strong individual to be committed uh, in a relationship, especially if you're a wrestler or a big time entertainer. So we're going to check out some of these uh, wrestlers that uh, cheated on their partners, man. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one. It's not uncommon for pro wrestlers to end up dating. The nature of pro wrestling, particularly WWE, means that wrestlers are spending most of their days together and over time bonds are going to be formed. And this includes bonds that lead to an eventual romance. Throughout the years, numerous wrestlers have got together, but their relationship has come to a dramatic end after one party in the relationship cheated on the other. Join us now as we look at 10 WWE wrestling couples who cheated on their partner. It definitely happens, man. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also, check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Enzo Amore and Liv Morgan. In now, this I did not know. Liv Morgan lit social media on fire when she revealed in a tweet that Enzo Amore had been cheating on her with another woman. Oh, Amore damn. already had a rotten reputation in WWE, and this certainly didn't do the former Cruiserweight champion any favors. In a tweet, Morgan stated, Me knowing that I'm single and nobody cheated on me. Fans and fellow WWE talent were quick to comfort Morgan and Morgan would eventually get the last laugh as she went on to become one of the top female stars in WWE That's crazy. whilst Enzo would be released from his WWE contract in 2018. Number 9, Chris That's Ken. That's crazy. I know a lot of people are definitely like, how could Enzo cheat on Liv? <laughs> That's a crazy situation. I don't know the details. It's not none of my business, but I will say this, man. Just because we look at someone, but oh, she's drop drop dead gorgeous, and you know she would be the perfect girlfriend or whatever the situation may be. Anybody can get cheated on, to to the casual or the regular regular everyday guy or, or woman. Oh, this, this person should never be get cheated on, but it happens, man. And Enzo, I don't know how their relationship was, but you like you know Enzo seems like an interesting character just by himself so I, i'm not even sure how it came about them even getting together but it you know it happens to everybody doesn't matter who it is even Lil morgan candido and sunny chris candido and sunny began to date when sunny was just 17 years old damn according to sunny during a shoot interview she was initially planning on becoming a doctor but with candido wanting to become a pro wrestler this drastically changed her career trajectory Sunny added, We met in high school, the last month of our senior year in high school. It was June 2nd, 1990, and I was going to be a doctor, and he said, I was going to be a wrestler. And I was like, okay, great. How is my life going to end up? So it all happened from there. We fell in love. Unfortunately, it's believed that Sunny was unfaithful towards Candido, and it's rumored oh. that Sunny was romantically linked with legendary wrestler Shawn oh, Michaels during the time no. that herself and Candido were married. Oh, Outside no. of HBK, it's been rumored for decades that Sunny was also linked with other stars such as oh, Bret Hart and even damn. ECW star Raven. Number eight, damn, CM Punk. Damn, my boy, oh, she was. He was making some moves in the locker room. We all know HBK was Mr. Bad Boy, so he was in his bag. I, that don't even sound surprising, but damn. Jeez, like I said, men can get cheated on too. Lita. Before CM Punk found the love of his life in AJ Lee, I did not know this one. dating WWE legend Lita. Wow. However, according to rumors, there was a crossover period between Punk and Lita breaking up and Punk dating AJ Lee. Popular Reddit user Mets Fans Forever, a notable verified WWE insider, claimed Punk was courting AJ while still dating Lita. Ooh. Lita would be off somewhere else in the building and Punk would be talking to AJ. I thought it was kind of odd at the time. I think a lot went on when Lita would be sitting by herself and he was chatting with AJ. A lot went down at the arena. 
what is weird about this particular romance is that AJ idolized Lita growing yeah. up. Years later, they <laughs> would be crazy. involved in a bizarre love triangle that nobody saw coming. Number seven. That's crazy, man. Lita's always in these love triangles, bro. What's going on? <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler and the cat. It was evident during the Attitude Era that Jerry the King Lawler was besotted by the cat. <laughs> but so, so that Lawler walked out of WWE in 2001 when the cat was fired out of sheer support for his then wife. Oh. It then surfaced that the cat had cheated on Lawler with someone from WWE Developmental and the marriage quickly disintegrated. Oh, no. Whilst hurt from the affair, Lawler was able to mend his relationship with WWE and by the end of 2001, Lawler was back alongside Jim Ross, calling the in-ring action. That's crazy. John Morrison and Melina. Various rumors have circulated surrounding why John Morrison and Melina broke up, but it is believed that Melina began to date top star Batista. Man, shout out to man Batista. You know what I'm saying? They got to get into their acting role, and you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all gonna do a kissing scene in the locker room. Make sure it's sensual. Make sure it's real. And he got to get up on that. My boy Batista. The animal. <laughs> While still dating Morrison. Damn. The issue was that Batista was one of the WWE's biggest stars, which ultimately made him untouchable. Facts. That even though what he did was morally wrong, he would go unpunished. Yep. According to several reports, Vince McMahon completely gave up on Morrison ever being a big star in WWE due to his lack of action upon finding out about Molina's infidelity. Oh. According to Batista, during a 2007 interview with the Charleston Post Courier, Morrison and Molina had already broken up when he began to date Melina. Mm. He knew everything from day one. From the day we started talking, explains Batista. That was one of the things that a lot of people didn't realize and didn't bother to ask. Oh. Melina and John weren't together anymore. He was always aware of what was going on. I don't on know why the stream, was but... very honest with him. They split up and moved apart and we started dating each other. She still considers him her best friend in the world, but he always knew exactly what was going on. Now, the validity of Batista's claims are up for discussion, and it's up to the likes of Melina and Morrison to verify his bold statement. Mm -hmm. Number five. Damn, he's saying he knew what the deal was, so it's like, you can't get mad at me, my bro. Y'all were already done. She started fucking with your boy, and then that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I already knew what was up. You knew what was up, so I don't, I don't understand what the dissension is. Interesting. The question is, is that the truth? Kevin Sullivan and Woman. The old expression, life imitates art, came true in 1997 during a storyline between Kevin Sullivan and Chris Benoit. Damn. In the storyline which was taking place in WCW, Nancy, also known as Woman, would leave Sullivan in favor of Benoit. Wow. Sullivan and Nancy were legitimately married in real life, but Nancy ended up falling in love with Benoit and ultimately decided to leave Sullivan in favor of starting a romantic relationship with Benoit. Whoa. Nancy and Benoit would later marry in late 2000, and Sullivan and Benoit had a less than stellar relationship backstage. In a sign of true professionalism, Sullivan never let his dislike for Benoit show in his behavior towards him. And according to Benoit, Sullivan never took liberties with him in the ring, which highlighted what kind of a person he truly was. Sullivan would even book Benoit to win the WCW world title in a move that nobody saw coming. While some believe this was done to show that Sullivan could be unbiased as a booker in WCW, he justified his booking decision by stating that Benoit was simply the right person to win the gold. Number four, Kenny. Huh. That's interesting. This is a real life situation. You're married to someone and then eventually they don't even want to be with you no more. They want to be involved with the person you're feuding with in a story. And now they end up in a relationship. And he could have took it out on him, booking-wise, match-wise, all that stuff. They didn't like each other, but they kept it professional. Hmm, I'm just saying. A little backstage skirmish in another company, it happens. And they can't even get on the same page. This is a little bit more personal when you're dealing with, like, person you're married to. And they were able to put that aside to make some money. I'm not saying that that you you know sometimes you know if you don't want to put personal feelings aside or you just really don't like this person you don't want to work with them I'm not saying you you should or you should be forced to but I'm also not you know I'm also looking at the other side of it which is like well if it can be resolved you don't have to be best friends it can work I'm just saying 
It has happened before in wrestling. Plenty of times. Probably times we didn't even know. But the money was more important. Making the money, making the product better was more important than whatever personal issues came uh, within, you know, behind the scenes. Tony Dykstra and Mickey James. It's crazy. But during the ruthless aggression era, it was common knowledge that Kenny Dykstra and Mickey James were dating. However, this relationship ended up in complete disaster as Mickey began to have a romance with WWE's top guy, John, John Cena. Cena. Yep, no, about this WWE one. were never going to punish Cena for this. Of course. But unfortunately, fell on Dykstra, who was moved brands in order to be away from Cena and Mickey, and then he was eventually released. Damn. Dykstra held a ton of resentment towards Cena for many years, and most fans believe that this was completely justified. Thankfully, Dykstra's story ended up having a happy ending, as for the past few years he's been working as a producer for WWE in a role which he's received rave reviews for. Okay. Number 3 Vince McMahon and Linda McMahon a stories related to Vince McMahon Fucking cheating on Linda Vince. McMahon began to surface in 2001. <laughs> he was doing an interview with Playboy magazine. <laughs> oh, I bet he was doing some... Uh some stuff <laughs> McMahon outright declared that he had cheated on his wife but Linda was fully aware of his conduct not necessarily faithful I probably lied to myself thinking she knew who I was when we got married the wild guy but I never ever threw anything in her face I was discreet <laughs> Linda never suffered from a lack of attention physical or emotional but one day she asked me point blank are you having an affair with so-and-so and I've -so? never lied to her Damn. It was clear from this point onwards that the two were having an unusual and less than traditional relationship. Yeah. This was furthered when in 2022, mm -hmm. it surfaced that McMahon had paid numerous women a large amount of money to keep a lid on affairs between them. Yeah. This completely annihilated McMahon's reputation and even led to him taking a leave of absence from the corporate side of WWE's But well, now he's back. <laughs> Following these horrific stories circulating online, uh, it was <laughs> good old McMahon and McMahon had been separated for some time which was previously kept strictly <laughs> under wraps. Number two, tr Linda knows. She knows I'm the genetic jackhammer. She knows I gotta get my fix. I love Linda. Linda has always had my back. I would never visibly in front of her cheat on her. But boy, oh boy, I love me some playboy women. Mm. That's what happens when you, you know, run a company, CEO, all this other stuff. You're Vince McMahon. He's married, but guess what? He's Vince McMahon, so he got the money to, you know, do whatever the hell he wants damn near. Triple H and China. Between 1996 to 2000, Triple H and China were in separate. I did hear about this. They were going to spend the rest of their lives together. However, when Triple H entered into a storyline with Stephanie McMahon, yep. the two bonded extremely quickly, and both the game and McMahon fell in love, leading to Triple H leaving China in favor of McMahon. Uh -huh. During an interview with Howard Stern in 2002, the game stated that whilst China saw it as Triple H cheating on her, the game didn't see it that way, as the relationship was naturally coming to an end during that time. There's a misconception of the way that things ended with us, but it was our relationship that had gone downhill. There's a period of time where we separated and things happen in between, and then you kind of part way, get back together, and it really wasn't a full-blown relationship at that time. <laughs> and number one, Matt My Hardy. boy, <laughs> Triple H was like, look, man, I'm in this storyline with the boss's daughter. You know, there's some great opportunities here. You know, it's it's not that I don't care about you, China. It's just we've we've grown apart, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, now, you know, I'm, I'm, I've really gone close to Stephanie McMahon. Man, so you know, don't take it personally. Rest in peace, China, though. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Hardy and Lita. This is a good when number one. That Lita had cheated on Matt Hardy in 2005. It became the talk of the wrestling world. For sure. However, when it then surfaced that Lita had cheated on Hardy with fellow WWE star and Hardy's close friend Edge, it changed everything. This story dominated the wrestling media and even hit mainstream news as it was all anyone could talk about. Mm -hmm. Lita and Edge began their affair whilst Hardy was on the injured list, resting at home, which certainly adds insult to injury. Ooh, so cold. When Hardy discovered Lita's infidelity, he blew up and took to the internet to air his grievances. Mm -hmm. WWE hastily decided to release Hardy, stating that his behavior was unprofessional. This naturally enraged the fan base. Facts. Who said WWE were punishing Hardy instead of Lita and Edge. 
Eventually, WWE brought Hardy back, and in an insane twist, they would incorporate the real life Which affair so into the storyline as Hardy good. began to feud with Edge and Lita. This became the biggest storyline in WWE, and from what was somewhat critical of the storyline and believed it to be insensitive, it made sound business sense as fans wanted to see Hardy extract his revenge. Oh, bro, it worked. It was so, it's one of the best personal storylines in wwe history i still find myself watching some of their matches from that that time period i the i think it was a street fight on raw where he hit the i want to say it was the the uh hit the twister face uh off the stage and they sold the injury like uh edge neck or whatnot like he was concerned about his neck matt was hurt they had to both be carted off like they made that feud that much more personal because it was real it was legitimate and that's what made that storyline so great i know it, you know some can say it is insensitive because it was real but if they were able to we you know we may not be cool but let's turn this into something why not so but comment down below let me know which one of these uh situations and uh stories was most shocking to you um, but I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel road 250k and I'm still getting the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.